Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at some fun things you can do with the terminal. Now, there are a lot of strange and unusual things hidden on your Mac that are only available through the terminal. To run the terminal program, you can find that in the Applications Utilities folder or in Launchpad and Line. It's in the Utilities folder there. So you run Terminal and then you can type a command. For instance, here's a simple one called Banner. You type Banner space and then some text. Let's put some quotes around it and put Hello World period. And the result is, is I get this string of characters like that and actually spells out Hello World in very large text. Now I can actually uh, put that in a file and make it easier to see. So let me uh, do PWD which is the uh, gives me the path where I'm at. So I say I'm at Users Mac Most. Let me go down into Documents. CD change directory down into Documents. So you see I'm in the Documents folder now. Now let me do Banner and do that Hello World again. But I'm going to put it in a new file called banner.txt like that with the greater than symbol and then the name of the file. Now if I were to open up a new Finder window I can see that here in my Documents folder I've got banner.txt and I can open that and I can see it's in there. Let me select it all and use Command minus to shrink the font size and I can see exactly what it is I've got. Now anytime you want to find out more about a command you can use the manual command man man and type the name of the command. So if I do that for banner I'll actually get some detail here. I can hit uh, return or spacebar to go through it and see that there's some things like uh, the output width, uh, things like that. So with any of these commands, just about anything in the terminal, use MAN to find out more. Now you have a bunch of unusual calendars or a list of dates uh, hidden on your Mac. Uh, to find them, go to the directory USR, Share, and Calendar. And then LS will list the files there and you can see all these calendar dot something. Now a lot of people talk about just one or two of these but here you can see them all. So for instance if you wanted to do uh, you wanted to see what was in the calendar dot music we can do cat which will output everything to uh, the terminal window here and you can do calendar dot music. And you can see here I got this list of days of the year and something that happened on those days. Uh, you can see there's all sorts of calendars like that including this one here which gives you Lord of the Rings uh, important dates. Kind of interesting there. And you have holidays and all sorts of other things that you can poke into. You also have the cal command which gives you a, this little calendar of the current month. It's plain text so you could actually copy and paste this into something if you liked. Uh, you can modify it. Again you look at use the man command to see all the possibilities um, and we can try things like for instance Cal and then let's look at December of this year or Cal and we can look at an uh, entire year like that. Now there's a text editor inside of Terminal. Actually there's a whole bunch of them but one of the most powerful ones is Emacs. Now Emacs is so powerful it has a scripting language and some people have written games that work inside of Emacs. So to find out what games you have here's what you want to do. You want to go to this folder USR Share and Emacs and then you want to list what's there and you'll get one that shows a version number. In this case I have version 22.1 of Emacs. It may be different on yours and it may be different if you're watching this video far into the future. I'm going to go into that directory in this case 22.1 and then inside of there uh, I'll be able to go into Lisp slash play and then LS list the files in there. And I get a whole bunch of different game files most of which will work for games. So for instance I see that there's Tetris there. So Let's go in and run Emacs like that. Now I'm in the Emacs editor. I'm going to hit Escape and then X and then type the name of the game. And there we go. Now I'm playing Tetris. I can use the arrow keys to move around. To switch to another game I would do Escape X and then type in the name of the new game. And I get to play that. To quit out of Emacs uh, you would do uh, Control X and then Control C. Here's another game you can play. You can get it by typing Emacs dash batch dash L space done it and you get to play 
a version of an early text-based adventure game. Now let's look at some other weird files that are on your Mac. Uh, if you go to the directory usr.share.misc and you look, there'll be some weird things in here. Like, for instance, see that one called Flowers? Let's take a look at that. You can see it gives you definitions for different flower types. So kind of an odd bunch of text files here. Okay, now here's a very long and unusual command. I'm going to paste it in here uh, and you can try to type it in if you want. System Library Framework, screensaver.framework, resources, screensaverengine.app, contents, Mac OS, screensaver engine, space dash background. So what does all this do? Well, it will take the current screensaver you have selected and throw it on as your desktop background. So if I move here I can see there my desktop background is actually the screensaver. Now this is a program that's running in terminal. Uh, you can see I got a bunch of error messages there I can just ignore but it's running. I can't actually type anything else here. Um, nothing else is going on. I have to do control C to break out of it and it stops running. So you can kind of keep that going on in the background. It's kind of a special effect uh, maybe while you're doing a presentation or something like that or just for fun. So here's something interesting you can do. You can create a mini internet that is your Mac, the files on your Mac. So the first thing you want to do in terminal is go to where you want to start. So for instance let's go to um, users and MacMost and I can see where I am now. So I'm in my, my home folder. And then I'm going to run this simple command here. It's a Python command um, and you can see it here, python-m simple HTTP server. I'm going to run it. Now I'm running the simple server. I can bring up a window here. Here's a Safari window. I can go to localhost uh, colon 8000 which is the port it's going to run on. And I can see all the files there. There's my documents folder. I can dig down into my documents folder and see the stuff there just like I'm looking in the finder. And I can go back and I can even download files, do things like that. So there's some fun things you can do with the terminal. Most of the time when people talk about the terminal they're just talking about these little one line commands where you change a default so a setting changes in an application. But these are things that you actually can do in the terminal. So I hope you found it interesting. Until next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.